What is SNAP? The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, provides nutrition assistance to low-income individuals and families. SNAP is administered by FNS, the Food and Nutrition Service of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In some states, SNAP has a different name. For example, the program is called CalFresh in California, FoodShare in Wisconsin, and the Food Stamp Program in Georgia. What can be purchased using SNAP benefits? Generally, SNAP customers can use SNAP benefits to buy breads and cereals, fruits and vegetables, meat, poultry, and fish, dairy products, and seeds and plants intended to grow food for their consumption. Cold, already prepared foods like deli sandwiches and salads are also eligible for purchase. What cannot be purchased using SNAP benefits? SNAP benefits cannot be used to buy alcohol, tobacco, vitamins or medicines, pet foods, or non-food items such as tissue, soap, cosmetics, and other household goods. Also, foods that your store heats or cooks on site before sale cannot be purchased with SNAP benefits. Bag fees. Some states charge customers a fee for each shopping bag provided by a grocery store. Shopping bag fees cannot be paid using SNAP benefits. If your state charges these fees, ask the customer to pay for the fees using another form of payment. Sales tax. Sales tax cannot be charged for items purchased with SNAP benefits. Management at your store should have practices in place to prevent sales tax from being charged on SNAP purchases. If you have questions, talk with your manager. How does a purchase transaction occur? SNAP benefits are issued on electronic benefits transfer, or EBT cards, that are used like debit cards to buy food. Follow these general steps for a successful SNAP purchase. 1. Separate eligible foods from ineligible items. If you don't have a scanning system, you should first add up the cost of the SNAP eligible items to avoid accidentally charging sales tax on those items. If your store has scanning equipment, check with your manager to learn if any separation is necessary. 2. Total the eligible food purchase amount. If your store accepts coupons or offers discounts or incentives, you must do the same for SNAP customers. Benefits can be used to buy SNAP eligible items in returnable bottles if your state requires that you charge a deposit. 3. Press the appropriate purchase key and ask the customer to swipe the EBT card through the POS device. To complete the transaction, the customer must have the EBT card and know the personal identification number or PIN for that card. 4. Enter the food purchase amount into the POS device if it is not connected to the cash register. EBT cards may also hold other government benefits, such as cash assistance. If a customer's SNAP benefits have run out, the customer may still have other funds available on the card. The customer must swipe the card another time to access other benefits. 5. The customer enters the PIN and presses the Enter key. When using POS device, the PIN identifies the customer. No other identification is needed. Depending on where the POS device is located, you may need to swipe the card. Return the card to the customer immediately. You must not enter the PIN for a customer and do not watch the PIN being entered. Never keep the card or card number and never ask a customer for a PIN. Six, review the POS response. If there are enough funds and the PIN is entered correctly, an approved message will appear and a receipt is printed. Be certain that a purchase is approved. Your store will only be paid for approved purchases. If there aren't enough funds, the transaction will be denied. If this happens, allow the customer to use up their benefits and pay the difference with another form of payment or decide not to buy some items. 
Seven, provide a receipt. After the purchase, give a receipt to the customer. The receipt will show the purchase amount and the balance in the customer's SNAP account. What if a customer leaves their card in the store? If a customer forgets their card in the store, notify your manager and follow the instructions on the back of the card. What other transactions are there? Manual key entered transactions. When an EBT card is swiped through a POS device, the device reads account information from the magnetic strip on the back of the card. If the POS device cannot read the strip, use the POS keys to enter the card number. The customer must enter his or her PIN to authorize a key entered transaction. FNS will monitor all SNAP transactions at your store, including how often your store uses the key entry method. Never manually enter a card's number unless the SNAP customer is at the store, and you shouldn't use the manual key entry method unless the POS device or the customer's EBT card is not working. Refunds. If a SNAP customer returns food bought with SNAP benefits, use the refund transaction on the POS device to return funds to the customer's SNAP account. Never provide refunds in cash. It is illegal for you to give a refund in cash, on a gift card, or as store credit. Voiding a transaction. If a wrong amount is entered into a POS device and the transaction is approved, most systems will allow you to immediately void that transaction, including both purchases and refunds. A void must be done on the same POS device. Once approved, the transaction can be entered correctly. However, if a transaction is completed with the wrong amount and then a second transaction is completed, you cannot void the first transaction. In this situation, you must use the refund transaction on the POS device. Are there other considerations? Credit accounts. SNAP customers must pay for their purchases at the time that they receive their SNAP eligible items. Never accept SNAP benefits as payments on credit accounts. Never hold a customer's EBT card or SNAP account information for future use. No cash change. The exact amount of an eligible food purchase is deducted from a customer's SNAP account automatically. If a customer returns food bought with SNAP benefits, you must use the refund transaction on the POS device to return funds to the customer's SNAP account. It is illegal for you to give a refund in cash, on a gift card, or as store credit. What happens if you break the rules? SNAP is a multi-billion dollar investment by American taxpayers. USDA protects that investment by enforcing program rules and aggressively prosecuting violators. Stores may be disqualified temporarily or permanently, fined for violating program rules, and can face criminal prosecution. Once disqualified, FNS may disclose the store's name and address, owner's names, and the penalty. Trafficking. In general, trafficking is the official term for accepting SNAP benefits in exchange for cash. If a customer asks you for cash in exchange for their SNAP benefits or offers to sell food to you that was purchased with SNAP benefits, tell them no. If you say yes to the customer, you could lose your job. Buying or selling SNAP benefits for cash or purchasing food from a customer who has purchased the food elsewhere with their SNAP benefits may also result in the permanent disqualification of your store, a forfeiture of property, and a monetary penalty for each violation. Other violations. Your store may also face consequences if you accept SNAP benefits for the purchase of ineligible items such as napkins, paper plates, or soap, cigarettes, tobacco, or alcohol, other non-food items, or firearms, ammunition, explosives, or controlled substances. If you accept SNAP benefits in exchange for one or more of these items, your store could be temporarily or permanently disqualified from SNAP, and the store may be required to pay a civil money penalty. What if I have questions? 
If you have additional questions, you can visit us online at www.fns.usda.gov snap or contact the Retailer Service Center at 877-823-4369.